will see the system design and architecture of TikTok. TikTok is very popular platform which is used to upload a short videos. This is social media platform which using which you can make a variety of short form videos from genre like dance, comedy, education and the duration can be from 15 seconds to 1 minute. So I hope you guys must have seen or used it. In India these are banned these days in India and, uh, as well as in US but it was very popular video tool. So the product requirement for TikTok was uh, you can create videos, you can upload video, you can view the videos which is created by other users, you can like and follow the other users so that you can see their videos and you will have your own profile. And the video duration can be from 15 seconds to 60 seconds. Okay. So this is the these are the major product requirement and uh, from the architecture NFR perspective security reliability load and latency and high scalability these are the few NFR goals okay now to do that to do this design I'll be using this draw.io okay so let's begin so I'll start with an with a user because user will use the system okay so this is the user and we have three major functionalities that we have defined create video up create and upload videos you can view the videos and you can you have your own profile uh, you can like and follow the other users okay so i'll categorize it into three major tasks first is upload video second will be to view video of other user of course you can watch your own videos as well which is uploaded and uh, other activity which may include uh, like follow profile etc so these are the three ma major thing uh, that can be done by user. Now to do this, so I, I will assume uh, there will be three microservice for example and uh, all will be hiding behind a load balancer. So let me draw this load balancer here. this will be load balancer and user can using load balancer you can upload videos you can view other users video and you can do activities such as managing a profile, changing password, or lots of other activity that you, you can do. Okay. So this upload vid video will be kind of post API request and view vid video will be kind of get API and other activity may include some post and get both okay so that's about the activity that you will perform okay so these things needs to be stored in database as well okay so let me find so to do that 
we'll be using two kind of database first will be some noseful flavor for unstructured data for some unstructured data we'll use NoSQL okay and for relational we can use some database RDBMS such as MySQL or Oracle it can be for okay now we will be having we need to have sharding or replica of these because TikTok is used by millions of users okay that's why we'll have the replica and for better performance we need read replica as well okay so this will be kind of read database okay now read data will read the table values from this relational db okay and uh, all the operations either for load or view will be recorded in the database now view will not point to the transactional database it will read from the read db okay and for a more better performance instead of directly reading from the read db we will be using some cache okay so this will be cache db We'll use some cache so that the read performance will always be fast and we know that when we uh, for storing the video we need some object storage because rdbms or no or no sql will not be enough or suitable for uploading a video so i'll use So I'll use option object stories such as AWS S3, AWS S3 bucket. Okay. Uh, so what is this? This is some kind of object stories. So. AWS ST kind of object stories, okay, uh, with uh, very high scalability, high performance, and high availability, and highly available, okay. And so, when we will upload the data, one entry will go in database, and the other entry and the actual values will be stored in S3 bucket and whatever will be the storage information will be stored in database okay so that's about 
a user who can and uh, with load balancer uh, will make sure that uh, things are highly scalable and these APIs will be okay so I'll just make the arrow a bit longer for high availability and scalability purpose we'll use this and uh, we'll also use some sort of notification service okay this notification service will send not data to user such as when he is uh, when he if user is offline and if he receives some sort of user user activity or suppose some other user to which user is following on uh, the videos if that user uploads any new video user will get uh, notifications so this may include some email or push notification okay this may include some email and push notification and this will be our notification service so let's try to see whether so we have covered upload video view video like and follow users and user profile okay and uh, for reliability uh, we have the load balancer database and high highly scalability that will also give and for low latency we have used uh, cache okay if you want more if you want to reduce more uh, latency then in that case uh, you can use CDN, some sort of CDN that will okay. So we'll use some sort of CDN that will reduce the latency a bit more. Okay. So CDN will cast the videos and so that once cast it will not try to go and read the data from database and then look through directly the AWS bucket so that's all CDN will help and uh, CDN is based on location as well so if you are trying to access from uh, Asia or from a or from um, US or from other regions different CDN network will help you okay and uh, for database layer as well uh, we can use if you're using AWS cloud then based on the reason where from where the user is trying to access we can make sure that data is served from the nearest data center okay so we can write something like data to be served from nearest data center And for security purpose, if you are some sort of malicious user or some hacker, we'll make sure that uh, you will not have direct access to you will not have direct access to either the video files or you will also not have direct access to database and any of the other services okay you you cannot hacker or unauthorized user I would say so that's uh, 
somehow simple and uh, I tried to explain how the TikTok architecture will look like and which will solve uh, these many requirements. Now if you go to database table needed can be like for user profiling you will have user table then for you will have video service table which will store the data and details about videos and then you will have user groups user like follow etc you can have other tables you can have some master table as well for country city state etc okay so that's uh, about uh, TikTok architecture and this is my view of TikTok architecture uh, in the actual implementation it can be different um, but in quick 30 minutes I can think of this is how it can be done okay so thank you viewers for watching uh, the video and if you have any question related to it please write in the comment box uh, if you think video is helpful do like the video and subscribe the channel so that you can follow and get all the latest videos from us and if you want to see the architecture of any other more popular platform do write in the comment box we'll try to give you the architecture of that as well okay so thank you so much and this is really helpful for the one for the people who is working or preparing for architect interview or is working on architect or on a senior role. So thank you so much for watching.